What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another Club Selection eFootball Championship Volume 2 Player Pack Training Guide. We've got Kunde. Now, this guy is very, very good. He's one of the best players in the game, in my opinion. On wavering form, he's on B rating this week with the, with the live update. Excellent player skills. We're going to go through this fairly quick because I do think that he's a very simple player to train up. One of the easiest, depending on how you want to play him. If you want to play him as a right back and you want to play him as, you know, going up and down the wing, helping out in defense, being aggressive, you know, being able to keep a locker completely locked down or a winger locked down. Um, and then you also have the player skills or else you want him as a CB. So as we just said, interception, a blocker, aerial superiority, sliding tackle and fighting spirit with heading and man marking un unreal. Like that is unreal. Um, he's a little bit short for a center back, but I never worry about that if you've got a fairly good, solid aerial, um, you know, aerial guy or a target, uh, a target center back that's able to deal with target men, I should say, a target stopper, target man stopper. Sorry, lads, I'm all over the place. But anyway, look, if you are going to be training him up, there are the stats that you need to look at. So we have got two training guides for him. The first one that we're going to look at is as a right back. So I always played Kunde as a center back, and if he wasn't up on form or if my other center backs were up on form, I kind of relegated him to the bench. I, and I usually played either Cancelo or... Trent or else maybe somebody like Kimmich on the right back or else shoved Maldini out right back and then had Rudiger and Van Dijk central mid or central midfield uh, defensive but I think that in the last couple of weeks with the way the gameplay has gone I genuinely think Kunde is probably one of the best right backs in the game and I'll show you right so this version of him here is a right back build you're going to have two into passing and four into dribble and that's just to make him a little bit better on the ball to be able to bring the ball forward he's going to be naturally defensive anyway because of the high defensive awareness but you can bring the ball forward a little bit better when you have these stats boosted up especially get the tie possession up over 75 and then dexterity um is going to be eight so we do want that acceleration and stamina and balance up as high as we possibly can but more importantly we want to if we are playing a right back we want to have his offensive awareness up and we want him to be pushing forward slightly unless we don't want him to, you know, by using player instructions and manually holding him back uh, defensively. If we want to do that, we want to make it our own decision, right? Then lower body strength obviously needs to be upgraded past 80 as well with the stamina to get that up because we want him to be up and down the wing. And then six into defender just to make him be able to completely lock down a winger, right? I've seen Kunde, like the way the pace works at the moment, lads, is if you've got a 96 rated winger, you will still be able to catch up with a defender once you have fairly decent um, defensive stats. It's just the way that the game is balanced at the moment um, is that it doesn't really matter what pace. The only way pace really matters is when you burst onto a ball or you burst past the player in your in your stride, right? And you can get that extra yard or two. Um, but the longer that you run and the longer distance that you run with, the defender will always have the advantage. So with that in mind, if we're training Kunde up, I think they will change it in V2.5 um, or maybe kind of further on along the line. I do think that defensive stats are more important for him, right? So I do think that this centre-back version of him is a monster and you can just train him like this and then slot him in right back if you want to. This version of him goes to a 90 overall at right back. This version goes to an 89 overall. Um, but this version of him is a 91 at centre-back and this one is a 94 at centre-back. So you kind of have to as I always repeat, you kind of have to pick what formation and tactics that you want to do. I think Kunde is perfect in a back five or a back three or a false back five where you have him as a right back, but he's slotting in defensively very central in a man market role or else manually you're defending with him while your center backs and your other guys on the left side of the pitch or the middle of the pitch are kind of controlling that area with the AI, right? You can see the stats here, right? On top of having every stat in defense over 90, you also have 80 speed, 78 acceleration, which is insane. And then the passing and the dribbling and all that for a center back are really strong as well. The only thing that lets him down is his height, but I don't even think that's a factor really with the way that the game plays at the moment because it's so fast. And a lot of people don't use aerial, um, you know, aerial kind of attacks. It's usually on the, on the ground, quick passing. So I do think that Kunde is a monster. They are the two training guides for him, short and sweet and complete. And uh, that is going to be it for another video. So I will talk to you in a bit, lads. And if you look at how he stacks up against his other versions, this guy is an 85 overall from the base. The French pack that they released, which is widely regarded and widely used by pretty much every top player uh, in the game, the top 500 Division 1 players across every console and platform. This guy is on their bench or else he's on their squad, right? He's an absolute monster. I actually think that this version is slightly better.
So I do think that he will be very meta, um, especially with the pace and the power that he has. So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Peace.